Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We are Angels on Broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And here on this channel, we see makeup as something that is fun, creative, magical, and definitely for everybody. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, what do we have today? Well, we did a little Sephora haul. Mm -hmm. And... One important thing we picked up, important in the world of makeup, is the Mary Jane palette from Melt. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. And it's neutral, neutral, neutral. That's some that's, swatches That's there. it on her arm. The whole palette. So it's a half shimmer, half, what, what it's called, matte. Matte. <laughs> and some of the shimmers are a little chonky. There. Yeah, we're afraid of fallout, and we already did our bases too, so we're... And I did play with this before, and this is like not a beginner palette. Like, mm. before I was like really lusting after the Natasha Denona Glam palette, that neutral, cool neutral palette. Yeah. But this one is its cooler cousin, yeah. but you know, it might be a little difficult to use, but we'll we'll show you and we'll let you know what we find. Yes. And we got a couple other things just at the sale. We got, we got the Patrick Ta bronzer and contour. We got the light one. She's statuesque. And I got one of the Melt cream blushers. This one. It's got the glow on it. It's called Polished. And what did you get? I got some of the Tower 28 cream blushes. I got Golden Hour and Magic Hour. I'm thinking I'm going to use Magic Hour today. I did get this bright rare beauty color, the lip souffle in Inspire. I really want to use it, but I'm not sure it's gonna go with this grunginess. We'll we'll find out at the end. So this is gonna be a bit of a first impressions for me anyway. And yeah, we're gonna see if this palette is a must or a bust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeeny. Must or a bust. <laughs> So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna go straight into the eyes. I don't know about you. Okay, I'm gonna do that too, and then we'll do the contour and complexion. Okay. Some of the shade names are like, well, all of the shade names are, you know, pot related. <laughs> but I don't know what half of them mean. But I do know what Sensamilia means what? because when I was a youngin, we used to go running out downtown Montreal find us Jamaican boys and they would sell us some sensimilia. What is it? Some term for weed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sensimilia, sensimilia. And it was $2. Oh. $2. Good deal. So I'm just first going in with the lightest matte, Mari, because I really want to build up the color here. I'm not afraid of the mattes. I'm not afraid of fallout with the mattes from Melt because generally they're pretty, almost like dry. And they're very intense, so you just, a little goes a long way with them. Yeah, they're not scary. I'm just afraid of these shimmers. Yeah, these shimmers, <laughs> even I'm afraid of them. I'm using Sensamilia, and I'm just gonna do a deeper, like outer corner thing. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using a smaller brush. I've started to like using these sort of small fluffy brushes for the crease. Guess what she got today? I got the shot. She got her first of the AstraZeneca. I'm going to go into another matte shade. Gaspar. Gaspar. Does anyone know what that means? No. I quite like this shade thus far. It almost like blends in with all of the sandy warm tones happening on my face. I'm going to deepen it up with Rubia. I'm going to get a bigger fluffier brush and blend this in. And I'm going to start bringing it towards the lash line and blending out. So today I was watching the newest Grey's Anatomy episode if anybody <laughs> is still watching Grey's. I loved it. It's covering COVID, but now it's also covering the Black Lives Matter movement. And anyway, I love the episode. Went to their page after. It just came up on my Facebook. All the amount of people. I'm done with Grey's now. This was the nail on the coffin. I can't watch this show anymore because they couldn't handle it. Why? It was too much for them to uh. watch about Black Lives Matter. So stupid. It's like, what show have you been watching for the past 17 years? Well, who are these people? I don't know. Fucking, they're all white people with 
God bless America. Oh, shirts. they watch Grey's? Why did they watch Grey's? I don't know, but they're done now. Good. Anyway, I've been loving it. I still love that show. I'm going to take Mari under the lash line now. I think my idea might be to smoke this out a lot. I'm about to dip into a shimmer. I'm going to spray, though, this flat, rounded brush with this Fix Plus. All my blushes are blue. I mean, my brushes are blue right now. <laughs> this is not good. Now I'm gonna go in with one of those bigger, fluffier brushes to really bring it out. I dug in. Which one did I go in? What's it called? Sweet, Sweet Lucy. That's the one I'm most terrified of because when oh, I no. swatched it, it was everywhere. Okay. No, look. You're doing it's well? pretty. Yeah. It looks really cool. Is Fix Plus the answer yes. to this whole yes. thing? Yes, Fix Plus or any kind of setting spray on a flat brush. Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. I'm going in with Sinis, Sinismilla. Sensimilla. 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 I can see it. And darkening along the lash line. This shade is amazing, I think. It is really pretty. It's like a pewter, gray bronze almost. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. I'm wondering if I could put something in it like to make it pop like this shade here Mary Jane. That one's really pretty. But it's kind of more like ethereal and fairy like. I might go in with Mary Jane sort of in this area and then fade it out to one of the other glitters. And you sprayed the brush. Spray the brush. Liberally. Liberally. She went. Wow, okay. Whoa, what? It... Wetting a brush that much? I've actually, believe it or not, never wetted that much. And then dug in. Is it fun? This is the answer. The answer to the prayer. This is like taking makeup by Mario's idea and just... Which I got, by the way, at the Sephora sale, so... I can't wait to try it. Yeah, we're going to try that at some point. Didn't you say Teresa's dad was trying to use glitter glue? Yeah, she said the glitter glue. I'm sure she uses NYX glitter glue. She said it created a really chunky, strange uh, kind of texture on her eyes. Okay. I'm going to try this lighter shade here. Callie. Callie. I thought, like, Callie the goddess? Well, I don't know what that would have to do with weed. Maybe it's a strain of weed. Don't be afraid to dig into the pigment a little bit that you're almost like ruining it yeah. a little. And these these are crum crumbly, a crumbly brand. And I know it's not for everybody, but I still love it. Yeah. I just love like the packaging and like the colors. This packaging is so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna fade this into, I'm gonna go into Sweet Lucy. Is that the one you were afraid of? Yes. I don't have fear in my heart anymore. Now that we've done this. Yeah, you can probably, like with this method, like some of your boring shadows and some palettes. Yeah. Like really revive them. Yeah, true. And we mean like really just dig into that pigment there. Don't. Yeah. Don't not, be funny. Yeah. Not like, yeah. Not swirling gently. I'm just going in with the shimmer. Santa Maria. I'm cleaning my brush on my sock. <laughs> yeah, so you can use, you use dry, for sure you use the mattes dry. Yeah, no problem. I, I don't think I would wet the mat. Unless you're doing a, like a Katie Jane Hughes eyeliner situation. I'm going to go in with Sins Amelia again and just really deepen and blend that dark tone at the end. Also, a good tip for fallout is to pack the color down and then go in with your blending. Yeah. I never really get fallout. Or if I do, I don't notice it because I'm blind. Maybe you're just more intuitive about it. You don't realize you're doing all those techniques. And then going in with Mari again with that fluffy brush and diffusing the blend. So I think what I'm just going to do is... Do this on the other side, just like, and then go in with mascara, and you're okay. done. Yeah. So, so we're gonna do that and be right back. Okay, so we're gonna try out this Patrick Tosh. He's statuesque. 
so the top one is the contour. It's kind of gray. And the bottom one is the bronzer. This is very light. I don't know how to contour. <laughs> Just go slightly below where your bronzer would go. I already do have a bit of contour on, so I'm just gonna try out the bronzer. This look calls for bronzer. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's subtle, actually. It's kind of light. I think I should have gotten light. the other one. Oh well. You just have to build it up. I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28. I think Magic Hour. My hair's in the way now. So long. <laughs> Obviously no haircuts here. I noticed that like when I look in the mirror when I'm driving, I always have like streaks of blush and foundation <gasps> now that it's so white. You can see everything. Oh, so embarrassing. Besides more orange because it had leftover product in the br in the brush. Well. So I'm going to use my melt. This one's called um polished, but it's called cream blush light. So it's got this kind of sheen in it. Which I like. I like these Tower 28 blushes, just so you know. She doesn't like the bronzer, but I don't know if it's the same formula, but I like the blushes. They're so I don't like the radiant. packaging. I like the packaging. They're cute packaging, but they look like garbage after like a week. Maybe because <gasps> you go like this. pigmented. Okay, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. A little. Okay, so lipstick, I really do want to try this. I don't know if this color is going to look good with this eye look. So if so, I'm going to wipe it off. I think this is Selena's go-to shade. Oh, that's nice. Because it's from Rare Beauty. I've seen it. I needed a really bright um, summer color. I'm doing my endless cacao. And I needed to complete my Fenty Mademoiselle collection. And I got this wasabi color. Okay, actually, yeah, it's interesting. I think that being said, I will add a bit more orange to the blush. So I'm gonna add a bit of golden hour, the more orangey tone into the complexion. Yeah, this works, I feel. So it's good. My face is so doing all the time now that my hair is literally sticking on it all the time. Yeah. And they'll take photos and I'll literally edit out the hair stuck to my face. Yeah, I'm into it. Weed is green. Am I right? Yeah, no, I like it because it brings out the green tones you went for in that. That's so true. They don't actually look that green, but when you, you add the green, they do. Okay. These are the finished looks. <laughs> Um, I am way more impressed with this palette than I thought I would be. She brought it in and I swatched it and I was like... Scared. I was scared. It was like falling everywhere, but... but it's so beautiful. Look at this. There's things in there that move. Glitter. Glitter. Um, you wanted to warn the people that would, what, when we said oh, dig. Oh, when you were saying dig in, we want to dig into the shadows that are shimmer with your wet brush. We didn't mean like gouge. <laughs> gouge Okay, it. can we, let's just kind of show you. Here's mine. Okay. So you wet this brush. But not a fluffy brush, a dense brush. And you just, like a little here, take it. Go to, for the corners. You're moving it and you have, see, you see it on your brush. But not like, you know, a di you know, tiny, tiny. Like a little, like you were going to do a little bit of cocaine. Just a little, just a, just a tiny bump, tiny bump, just enough to make me stay awake. <laughs> anyway, so I was prepared to say this palette was a bust, but no, it's maybe not for beginners, but it is pretty. It's gorgeous. These I are love it. pretty neutrals. I saw it come out on trend mood and I was like, melt, really? And now I take it back. I take it back. Yeah, yeah I love it. I'm yeah. super happy with it. So let us know in the comments down below if you have tried out this palette, if you're thinking about trying it, or even what some of your favorite melt palettes are. 
Join us next Thursday for our witches, bitches, martinis, and makeup because we're going to be chatting about Paris' burning. Mm. Doing some 80s inspired makeup. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye witches. witches.